Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hidden Artifacts channel. And if you can't tell already by my breath, it is cold. It is 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That is negative four Celsius for those of you across the pond. Uh, gonna be the last dig of the season. Today I'm attending the Clash of the Clad here in Lansing. There's a farm down the road uh, that has very graciously given us permission to dig and uh, a whole bunch of local detectorists are gonna be gathering there, spending uh, most of the day trying to see what we can find. Uh, I am gonna be there for probably about four hours, and then I unfortunately have to go to work, but I figure I'll get there early right when we start and uh, see what I can find. So without further ado, let's see how long I can hang out and uh, tolerate the cold. I'm all geared up, got all my warm stuff on, but I'm ready to find some great stuff. Let's start digging. All right guys, here I am out at the Clash of the Clad. It is early in the morning, 9 a.m., and it is still cold, <laughs> it hasn't changed at all. Uh, there's about, I don't know, 10 to 15 of us out here for this event, and uh, we have full reign of this entire property. It's going on somewhere, I don't know, 60 to 88 acres. Uh, and as you can see behind me, there is a lot of land to look at. We've actually got all the way back to the tree line there. Um, apparently this used to have a little town over, over this way. There's a road kind of back over to the west that I want to explore here a little bit that uh, used to be pretty heavily traveled. Uh, been some interesting stuff that's been found here, silver quarter, toe taps, stuff like that. But I'm really excited to see what everybody else brings up. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I think I'm gonna find some cool stuff out here. Okay, we got a pretty good signal here about uh, four to six inches down. It's coming up in the pull tab range, but also potentially gold so let's take a look and see what we get all right i think i found it this ground is frozen for sure which makes things a little difficult but what we got piece of aluminum at least what it looks like i'll try to break this dirt off of it and get a closer look here Yep, piece of aluminum. I also uh, found these two things not too far away, a big piece of copper wire and an old nail. Okay, just across the street from this house, I got a pretty strong signal here. About four inches down, I just got it out of the ground. Oh, that's a big one. What the heck is this? <laughs> it's heavy. I mean, it looks like an old piece of chain. Some kind of seal on it or something. I'll have to run this by the guys and see what they think. Pretty interesting. All right, another find right across the street from this house again, just a little bit up. Pop right up out of the plug here. Oh, what is this? Huh. Maybe uh, to an old car or something. Okay, right off the uh, driveway of this house back here, a little ways back from the uh, main barn where we all met, and actually right next to this giant field. Just dug this guy up. It's like an old hook. Kind of cool. Looks like it's been here for quite a while. I almost passed on this one because it was all, pretty much all iron, but I'm glad I didn't. I think that's pretty neat. Well, I'm way back, as you can see, from where I originally started, which is over there. I figured I'd just take a stroll this way, see what was out here. And out in the middle of nowhere, a spring. <laughs> I'm guessing it was for some kind of 
farm machinery or something. Interesting. It's frozen solid with uh, the dirt inside. There's no real way to get out right now. Pretty cool. Okay, I got my first bullet. Just dug this little hole here. This ground is just solid as a rock. But luckily this guy just popped out. And there we go. It's a crazy looking one. Nice. All right, up in the front lawn here. It's got a square now. Pretty old one. That's pretty cool. Old clamp, a ground wire clamp or something. BKB on it. I looked it up. It's definitely a, some kind of wire clamp. All right, let's take a look and see what I got. Mostly junk, I'll be honest, but some really cool stuff. I really like this guy, this little clamp. It's a pretty neat little thing, this radiator cap. Pretty sure that's what that is at least. Looks like it, once I clean it up. I really like this old hook. I can probably tell a lot of stories. Found that right out in the middle of the field. Some scrap pieces, got old pieces of uh, old copper. Of course, the bottle cap, blue ribbon. A couple of uh, square nuts. Um, found this really cool thing. I like this a lot, this is neat. Just a really old piece of chain or something. Some old farm things. Who knows what <laughs> these are used for, probably for tilling the fields. That'd be my guess. A few nails. Square nail was kind of cool. I like that one. I'll keep that guy. Piece of copper, piece of aluminum. Uh, but yeah, pretty fun time. I gotta say, found some unexpected things. I really didn't think I would find this much, to be honest. I had a blast. It was a good time. I want to give a special thank you to Corey Wood for organizing this uh, Clash of Clad today. Really, really cool event. I hope to do more in the future. Um, thanks a lot, Corey. Appreciate it. Met some really cool people today. Had a great time out here. Found some cool stuff. Uh, and I can't wait till the next one. And for everybody else who's watching the channel, thank you so much for uh, watching me over these last few months. Had a great season. Found some completely unexpected things. Found gold, found platinum, found silver, found it all. Uh, and I can't wait till next year. So unfortunately, here in Michigan, it's gonna start snowing. In fact, it did last night. Uh, and that means no more metal detecting until next spring. So I will see you guys most likely in March or April. Until then, keep digging guys. Thanks so much.